Taurus. Hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details will be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance. Such an amazing coach. Truly, his practical application to thriving in the now is second to none. His information is going to be down below. But without further ado, let us dive right in and see what messages Spirit has for you. So we have the Four of Wands, the Seven of Swords. It feels like there is has been an event, uh, a celebration, a time of <sighs> release waiting for you, Taurus, for quite some time time. It feels like you have done everything in your power to make this happen, but it still feels like there is some to, in, to, to some degree a little bit of resistance going on. It feels like there is somebody in your environment that is holding you back from really accomplishing what it is you're trying to accomplish. And the energy that I'm picking up, it's feeling like this person is really weighing you down, really taking you out, really, um, you know, there's this this energy where their opinion matters and we it's almost like we have to cater to them and their energy know that right now the only thing that is holding you back from seeing another side of this thing is quite literally just the resistance around it it's important for us to understand that no matter what the universe gives us in our life or what is currently happening if we bring ourselves to a scarcity mindset or think of this situation from any degree of scarcity we are going to be creating resistance it's a fear a fear that this person must be right a fear that if this person doesn't get their way, all heck will break loose, you know? It's just this, this inner eternal fear. And understand that in order to release this, it's very important that you quite literally say the words, I release the resistance surrounding my given situation. You can be in detail about it. You can say, I surrender, I surrender, I surrender. You can say all of these things, but something must be, there must be a action step taken at this time now, Taurus, to release that resistance around your situation because it is holding you back from seeing the other possibilities and the thing is whenever we're too involved in a situation that only holds us back that only promotes fear that only promotes anxiety that's when we have to take a look at our situation and really reflect with ourselves and ask is this the life that I am happy with am I enjoying this time here is this something that is you know really bringing my spirits higher because we have to assess when we need to let go of an energy and when an, you know when an energy has come and, 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 and the time has come and gone. It feels like right now there needs to be a little bit of a an internal processing going on of, again, just you being with yourself and at really truly asking yourself, asking your team of guides and angels, asking your spirit, is uh, am I where I need to be? Am I happy with what's happening? Am I, am I setting my standards too low for myself? You know, am I getting everything that I came here to achieve? A lot of the times we set our ceiling, our standards way too low for ourselves. And the problem with that is, is then we almost feel like, what's the point? What's the point if this is all that's going to happen? And that's when we almost deplete our miracle source, right? We deplete the part of us that creates miracles. When we consciously think of anything in our life, circumstances, thoughts, what we need, if we consciously are thinking about it from a scarcity mindset or allowing our conscious mind to take get the better of us, you notice how, how terrible that feels when our conscious mind is just going running rampant? Because our conscious mind is always trying to figure things out right? Figure things out. And when we have that figuring things out energy, it drops our vibration because it's not our natural way of being. It's not our natural way of being. What is natural is to let the universe guide us through a higher vibrational platform. In order to achieve this higher vibrational frequency, you must remove yourself from your environment. First and foremost, you must say the words, I release this resistance that's holding me back from accomplishing my desires. I understand the universe is always working out for me. And in order for me to accomplish this, I am letting go of this resistance. Even if it's a task you've been wanting to do, if it is a person in your life, and if it is this thought process that you have to be somebody different than who you are to please somebody else, when you quite literally say the words, I release this and say what it is you're looking to release, it, it releases it because your words command your energy. 
what needs to happen right now is there needs to be an element of perseverance. And this perseverance is only going to be able to come forward when you quite literally take the lead of your life. Very, very important on this one, Taurus, because there is an element of healing going on right now. And the more that you start to look at the situation that you're currently in as an opportunity for growth and healing instead of an opportunity as, oh my goodness, I, how am I going to get myself out of this one? This feels terrible. It only feels terrible because of the thoughts and the resistance you're putting towards it as if you do not have a choice, Taurus. And you always have a choice, beautiful soul. Remember that, okay? The choice is always yours, no matter what this human experience brings. It is always our choice. Now, are we living and making our choices from a inspired, from a eager, from a abundant mindset? Or are we giving our power away by feeling like it's not achievable, it's not possible, I'm overwhelmed, there's too much to do, and then we're scattering our, our, our energy, we're not channeling it into the right focus. So a lot of the times what we need to do is we need to completely release, in order to heal, we need to release all tension, stress, and pressure we place upon ourselves to be this particular way, to accomplish this task. We got to release it. If we want something done, we cannot have any pressure on ourselves to do it. Otherwise, there's too much tension and it just creates resistance. And that's what the universe is saying right now. All you got to do right now, Taurus, take your energy, take your beautiful energy and channel it into what is specific. What do you need right now? What's the most important priority? Okay, well, if there's too much resistance around this particular priority, that's exactly when you need to release it. And you need, just need to tell yourself, I release this. This is not necessary. I, I enjoy the process of daydreaming about it. However, I do not enjoy the process of feeling the stress and pressure I'm putting on myself. I release this. The universe always works in magical ways. The universe will let me know and inspire me when the time is right, right? Right? Give it to the universe. It's always easier when you can give it to somebody else, right? Give it to the universe to let you know when the time is right for you to conquer this task. And uh, trust me, when you surrender and release, that is when you will then feel inspired. And it's inspiration that needs to lead the action as opposed to just taking action to feel inspired. Let the inspiration lead the action. But in order to do so, we must feel like we are not constrained, restricted, and need to do something. Whenever you notice we need to do something, that's that scarcity ener energy there. That's that scarcity mindset, okay? Universe is validating that truly this time is going to lead you into greater prosperity, greater opportunity, but you must, you must discover what it means to you to release energy. And again, for me personally, when I speak the words, I surrender, I release. When I write the words out in a journal, I release this energy. Uh, universe will let me know when the task needs to be achieved, right? That Just simple words, just simplicity of releasing it. That is when things are going to change for you, Taurus. And I do honestly see here that there's a lot of energy going on. And right now, the current uh, energies of the world is quite... Uh, quick. It's quite chaotic at this time, not in a bad way, but in a good way. It means everything, um, a lot of manifestations are coming to fruition, for fruition at this time, all under the veil. And that's what Antelope Spirit is showing me for you as well, Taurus, is that a lot of your manifestations are going to be coming forward now. And you're going to want to be in your best your best energy for this. So prioritizing your high vibration, not prioritizing stress and pressure, right? Prioritize high vibrational perspective will allow you to capitalize on the opportunities that are necessary at this time. Again, we cannot capitalize if we're putting too much pressure on ourselves. So just release, have a complete release energy, right? Say the words, speak the words, and that's what will give you the insight and the downloads and the clarity of how to work together with perhaps the individuals in your life. May this be a love partner. May this be a coworker. May this be a boss, whatever it may be. The individual that's causing you a lot of chaos right now, you give your energy and power away to them every time you look at them and feel hopeless. Every time you think about them and you think, what am I going to do about this? How am I going to be able to change this? Scarcity. You won't be able to achieve anything from that perspective or from that vibration. We have to evolve yourself first. So you must e increase your vibration. So focus on happy feeling thoughts, focus on releasing and focus on, again, just prioritizing your happiness for the next little bit. Get those vibes high. A great exercise is automatic writing instantly connects us to our heart center, which is our life force. Uh, journaling amongst yourself, writing good words to yourself, mantras that connect with you. Anything that gets your vibes high, gets you into that 
that loving state of being, okay? Then you're going to have the clarity and, and, and know how to respond in this situation. That's how you're going to get it. It's never going to come. Your response is never going to be rewarded or successful. If it's coming from a lower vibrational scarcity place, it's only going to be a defensive reactionary um, response. So in order to get you those results, get yourself, get your vibes higher, release whatever it is. You don't need to do anything. It's always your choice. And sometimes we don't need to do anything and remind yourself this. This is my choice. I release this resistance. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. The universe will always let me know when I need to take action or what I need to do. And when you just simply say those words and release that, ah, you already feel better. And then at that point, just focus, keep focusing on those high vibes and ask the universe for guidance on what it is that the situation is with between you and this being and understand that the universe will always come through it'll be the sense of knowing you do not need to effort this answer it will just come to you all right taurus i hope you enjoyed your reading i hope there was a message in here for you if there was like share and subscribe i truly appreciate you spirit loves you i love you taurus and until our next reading keep shining baby